Hi guys, so as you can see, I am in a new location. I'm actually in my kitchen and um, let's just talk about the lighting for a quick sec. Whoa, it's so good. I just wanted to thank Style Hall from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for this. I am so excited to film. Okay, um, what I have for you all today is a contour video. I uh, follow the hype for every single thing, so I have um, about a bajillion contour products here. I have cream, I have powder, and I have a lot of them. You know, for me, they're all, let's be honest, they all contour. They all end up looking brown on my face, but I don't know why I think they're all going to be so different. So I just want to share with you my thoughts, compare them for you all, so you can see which one I prefer, which one I think is better for maybe your skin tone, and hopefully this will be helpful for you. So let me just go through with you the products that I have, so that way you, and then we'll kind of break it down from there. So in terms of powder products, I have the Makeup Forever, this is the, um, sculpting kit and this one I've had for a while. I have the Anastasia contour kit and this is in the lighter shade. Um, I have the Kat Von D palette which looks like this and I have, although this isn't a palette, I'm going to review these along with it because these are the Kevin Aquan. This is their sculpting powder and their highlight and I'm only reviewing this well, let me give you a spoiler alert, they're my favorite. Um, but also because I have their cream counterpart in the candlelit and medium. So this is what that looks like. Um, in terms of cream-ish products, I have the Kevin Aquan Cream Duo, which is in the Sculpting Medium and Candlelight. I have the Cover FX Cream product here. I have the Smashbox um, Sculpting Stick Trio and I have the Tarte Sculptor. So those are the products I will be going over with you, um, and I really hope that this is a helpful video for you. I really do. Anyway, so let's start with the powder products. Here are the four products that I have. So I'm gonna start with the Makeup Forever. This is the one that I had for the longest. Um, I actually use this on my clients religiously. I think that if you are a beginner, this is the perfect palette to start with. What I like to do is I like to use that as a deep color. If someone is more fair, I blend the two to create a lighter color. Um, they're fairly finely milled, so it's a really nice product. Uh, you can really build it up. It's kind of like a product you can't really screw up. So that's why I really love this product. Um, the next palette would be the Anastasia one. It has three um, contouring colors and it has three highlighting colors. One that is shimmery. Uh, it also has a darker counterpart, so this is the lighter one of the two. Um, they have warmer colors and more neutral colors here. They have one peach, a banana powder, and Again, this one is shimmery. So I like this palette. However, I find that the actual product is fairly small, so it's hard to get my brush in there without like kind of making it really messy. That's just like the one thing I notice. They're pretty pigmented, but not as pigmented as my other palettes. So if this was your first one, I thought it was pretty good until I tried another one. So um, the one thing I really do love about it is that it has a a shimmery highlight and that it has this banana powder that's really nice under your eyes. It's not as pigmented as this as the Makeup Forever here. This one for me is not as finely milled as the Makeup Forever or the other pa or the other palettes. Um, and I find that I have to use this a lot more to get that more pigmented color on my face. But if you like a lighter shade, uh, if you don't like really heavy contour, this would be a really nice palette for you. The next palette that I have was the Kat Von D, and at first I thought I had it all with the Anastasia, but once I got this one, I actually quite preferred this one over the other one. Um, so let me show you, and what I like, you can fold this back, um, is the difference between this. I believe the Anastasia is cheaper. You can see it, they are smaller. I like that the pans here are bigger. This one only comes in one shade, whereas this one comes in a medium and a darker shade. Um, so you can compare the colors. I find that the top ones are a bit more universal. Um, you can use this top, 
the Kat Von D for fair skin tones and darker skin tones. So this one's more universal if you're using it on clients or whatnot. Um, I also find that they have more neutral shades, which is, I think for me, just more preferable. It's less orangey than this palette down here. In this palette, it also has a more pinky shade, a banana shade, and a more peach shade. I don't really use this one all that often. Um, I wish that they did have a highlighting shade just like the Anastasia one, but it doesn't. Um, however, I do find this to be way more pigmented. Um, they're more finely milled, uh, so it's way softer when you feel it. As you can see, it's so much more pigmented than most of them here. Um, the product itself is very nice and soft, which I really, really enjoy. I, I generally only use the yellow one. I don't tend to gravitate toward either of those. However, I do really love these. I love that I'm able to sculpt really deeply. I could use this on other people and it can be really nice for the winter and the summer. So this one for me is the more universal palette for all of them and I really like this one. Now I have the Kevin Aquan. This is a sculpting powder and the Candlelight um, Highlight. Now I love these products so, so much. I've actually had the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder for like ages now and it's just, nothing compares to it. The pigmentation of it is just phenomenal. The, um, the coloring of it has more of this like ashy gray color so it works better on all skin tones. Um, let me swatch it so you can see. As you can see, there's no color that quite compares with the rest. It has more of like a tree grayish color, which actually works really nicely on skin tones. Um, and it's just, it's so good. Um, and it's just so pigmented. I find that I have to use like one swipe for one whole cheek, whereas the other ones I'm double dipping a lot. Um, however, these do come at a more pri at a pricier price point. For one of these, you can get one of these. Um, same goes with the candlelight. It's just so incredibly soft, and this just gives the perfect luminosity to my face. So all in all, if I were to just pick the product according to just the product itself, my Kevin Aquan will always win because they're just amazing. If you're going to go for the overall, the value, the different, the versatility of it, I would probably say that your best bet would be to go with a Kat Von D. It's really, really lovely. Um, I think the shades fit more skin tones and the shades are way more universal and neutral. Um, but if you are really lacking and you really want that shimmery shade, then definitely go for the Anastasia. This one is a close second, you know, when you got, when it comes to contouring, it's just really about preference here because they all are going to make you brownish color, some just lean more warm. This does have the versatility of having a second palette as well for darker shades. This one is a, oh my goodness, I don't know how to sculpt, I don't know how to contour, having 9,000 colors really freaks me out. This is a great beginner one. So they're all good for something, you know? So thank you again so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Um, but they're just like, these are really creamy and dreamy. The other formulas aren't quite like this. Um, so that's why I find this product to be really unique.